Alrighty, well, hi everybody, and it's cast time once again, and yeah, this is going to be a really early one. Uh, it's 10.38 p.m. right now. Um, just because because um, because I don't really have a whole lot, and I couldn't think of anything else I wanted to add. In fact, uh, a good chunk of this cast here is basically going to have some fluff and filler. Otherwise, this probably would have been like a like a five minute a five minute video because like I said um, aside from the stream which I'll talk about here in a bit um, not a whole lot else went on so yeah and then for the uh, <clears throat> for the music this is gonna be Egrel the blind elf uh, forgotten tales of the Middle Earth and as you probably could sur as you probably could surmise yeah it's um it's basically a Lord of the Rings type music um, but uh, it's actually some pretty good stuff. I played it during my stream, but uh, the weird part about it is, is uh, when I first played this, it was actually it was actually labeled as like Tolkien inspired dungeon synth. Um, now after uh, after uh, bringing about bringing the album back up, now it's just dungeon synth. So I'm wondering what was going on with that, and uh, and. Unlike yesterday, where I screwed up and forgot to do copyright checks on my albums, this time around, I did. And it came up okay, so... Hopefully I don't get fuck going after this uh, video gets uploaded. That's happened before, too. So... But anyway, let me uh, go ahead and get her fired up. Hang on, I... Yeah, I just... Gotta turn it down a bit from my end. Oh, gotta turn it down from YouTube and YouTube's end, too. I'll go ahead and get started. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, uh, good stream today. Despite um, uh, all right, hold on, I gotta pop, I gotta stop a sec. Headphones have gotta come off. Uh, for the longest time, I've been having problems with the headphone wire. Uh, it it causes my it's. I basically I need to retire the headphones I got, but uh, the problem is is I can't really find any other headphones that that uh that fit the belt that can do what these headphones do. So having to suffer with them but like I said I'm gonna just gonna go ahead and throw them off just gonna go and take them off because I need to be able to concentrate I'm not having to constantly yank and jiggle the wire so I can hear music out of both ears so, but anyway um good stream today uh, despite uh despite the bad sleep just uh woke um I think I laid down around 4 a.m. woke up around around 10 a.m. to uh like the, my right jaw was just was like hurting. I don't know why. Uh, the only reason I could think of was uh, I usually I did when I do my weekly workout. Um, I decided to do uh do my neck exercises differently. They're all uh, isometric. I don't I don't want to go into technical detail because we'd be here all night. But um yeah I just I I do my, I do my uh, isometric neck exercises differently this time around. So I'm thinking, because my body isn't used to exercising that. Doesn't sound okay. I thought uh, YouTube cut out on me, but anyway. Um. But yeah, I'm I'm thinking because my my neck isn't used to exercising this new way. Um, I might have done it wrong or something. So it, it caused some soreness in my uh, my uh, right neck muscles. So yeah, like I said, my whole uh, jaw is kind of hurting. I, let me rephrase that. My whole right jaw is kind of hurting. So, and then um, on top of that, too, my um, I also woke up with my uh, left arm um, a little bit numb. So I just wonder. I so I'm guessing I must have slept wrong, uh, and or exercised wrong. I mean, I did do. I think I said this yesterday. I did some uh, did some hammer curls. It, it's part of my weekly workout. 
Um, sometimes I'll do, uh, I'll do easy curl, um, okay. easy curl, palms down, bicep curls, but I've been having a problem with my barbell lately, like, really hard to explain, but the, um, the, the curls on an easy curl bar are out of alignment, which is causing me to hold the, hold the bar differently, my, holding my hand in one, at one angle and holding my left hand at a different angle, which can really cause a arm problem, so I can't use my uh, easy curl bar for bicep curls. So, anyway, um, but yeah. Uh, so, all that going in, uh, woke up at 10 with all those problems, uh, did some grocery shopping, uh, managed to get a, like a two, like a two-ish hour nap, uh, got back up and got streaming, but again, I was kind of I was, you know, I basically got up feeling like shit, but again, despite that, it was actually a good stream, though. Uh, did my usual, I uh, just started with, uh, idling to roll the gods, uh, played that for a bit until I got to a good stopping point, same with idle research, uh, played it till I got to a good stopping point, and then it was more idle champs, and, um, three time, third time in a row that it didn't crash my computer. But on the downside, for the first time ever, it actually did crash in game. Um, this, I think I said yesterday that I I can't recall a single time where this has happened, where the game's crashed like while playing. Like I said, either it works or it doesn't. So, but yeah, uh, just had the game running, went off and did something else, and came back and the screen froze. So, yeah, I had to restart it. So I guess I well and truly have a shitty computer where even idle games crash on it. Not to mention just uh, simply hitting Alt-Tab has a chance of crashing my computer. So it is high time to retire this thing, but the problem is, is I can't afford a new one. So, but other than that, um, I also... Listen to a little bit of music. In fact, you're hearing it right now. Um, I had this going during my stream. Um, I also listened, uh, checked out a couple podcasts. One from Joey Diaz. I'm um, starting to check him out lately. Uh, just, I forgot what I was gonna say. But yeah, despite the, um, despite the language. I mean, I'm cool with. I mean, I'm cool with the language. You know, I'm cool with the the, the swearing and the NSFW stuff. But uh, I've got a feeling some of the people that come on my stream might not be. So. But uh, he is, for lack of a better word, reliable. Oh, it's good to listen to otherwise. And then um, on a whim, because I haven't uh, checked it out, checked him out in a while, I threw out uh, Dungeons and Cosmonauts. It's a Dungeon and Dragon session. Probably my favorite one. My favorite one to watch because uh, it just... How can I put this? It's not... For lack of a better word, and I might uh And just a heads up, later on in this video, um, I might do some tweaking. I forgot that I wanted to talk about this. So... I'll, 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 I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Anyway, um... But uh, his... His D&D sessions are, they're not, for lack of a better word, overproduced. Like some of these others I've watched. It just, it actually gets, it actually gets to be pretty hard on the eyes. Like so much to process. You know, so much going on and all that. Too much fluff and filler. I think that's what I'm looking for. You know, whereas in the... Whereas, uh, in watching this, in watching this d and session, it's just like the whole, the whole group, excuse me, the whole group's in one room, it's one camera. Yeah, it's like, again, it's like one camera, they're all sitting together and all that. I don't, I don't have to look at six or seven different parts of the screen, like, constantly, so... But, yeah, um, 
And that'll do her on that. And then... Just a second. I'm gonna take a drink of some water. Hold on. So anyway, and like I usually do, I tried firing up some pinball, but uh, unfortunately it was a no-go. I was gonna try to do some maintenance on my uh, weekly matchups. Uh, fire, tried firing up the Wolverine table, but it got right, it, uh, right when it got to the loading screen, it crashed. So, but luckily, as uh, the the new week starts up uh, at 7 a.m. tomorrow. I sh I think I'm stable enough in the rankings to where it's not an issue. Or it's a non-factor. And then, and then like usual, if um, FX3 crashes, then Pinball Arcade crashes as well. So, so yeah, I'm not even gonna bother trying to do a session of that. Um, I'm. Now that I think about it, I might do a, I might do a table run on Postal 2 in Zachariah Pinball since I haven't done one in a long time, but we'll, we'll see come later on. And then, um, something that popped up in my email. <laughs> I, I saw the title. I thought it was kind of funny. It's another Jessica Wildfire article. I'm not going to go... I mean, I'm not going to go too deeply into this, but I, I just thought it was kind of funny. I've, climate change is already killing coffee. I, I thought it'd be funny and, it'd be funny and awesome if, like, the higher powers of peace saw this, and they're like, what? The, what? Coffee's being destroyed because of climate change? We need to do something now. We need to fix it. We need to fix things right. And then, you know, and then they, they, they switch over to a renewable energy, and the climate crisis is over. You know, it, it kind of, you know, kind of like the, uh, kind of like that scene in the airplane movie where we're out of coffee, and then the whole plane, ah! the whole plane just goes crazy and nuts. They're all panicking. That'd be funny, it'd be funny and awesome if this happened in real life, like big oil, big tobacco, etc. They um. They read this and it's like, what? The coffee, the coffee supply is being destroyed. Oh no, we got to do something. And they they fix the climate crisis and we all we all live happily ever after, and drinking coffee. It's a pipe dream, but hey, one can dream. Duh. But like I said, I don't want to I don't want to spend too much time on this. That don't surprise me. So until I've had my espresso. Uh, off for about 30 bucks. Yeah, whereas, um, I forgot to mention, but yeah, I cannot stand coffee. I can't stand the taste of that crap. Even, even back when I tried putting cream and sugar and all that in there, it, it was still awful. But at the, on the other hand, too, I don't, I don't want to put a whole metric ton of ingredients in my coffee. You know, I don't want to put a peppermint bomb bomb, butter brickle, butter brickle Hershey's Reese's and all that other, all that other stuff in there. I don't want to whole mountain of flavors, you know, I don't want, you know, I don't want five meat, five cheese coffee, no thanks, you know, I don't want mega supreme coffee, so, on the other end of the spectrum, you know, yeah, I, I'd want the ingredients kept to a minimum, but again, overall, I cannot stand coffee, um, me, I'm more of a, as far as caffeine goes, I'd rather just take no-dos, I'd rather just take caffeine tablets, But 
<laughs> but he scores a coffee farmers, but like I said, I think it would just be totally funny and awesome if like you know big pollute you know the polluters of the world saw this and it's like, oh, I gotta have my coffee and then you know they all they all switch to renewable energy and you know we all and then next thing you know we're curing cancer and we're we're at, we're bringing world peace to this world all because of coffee. It's almost a luxury. There's no money in coffee anymore. What's happening now? It's going to get worse. <laughs> The the cop -ocalypse. Yeah. That's, try saying that five times real fast. Cop -ocalypse. Yeah. I think mean, their coffee farmers are kind of like, um, they're kind of like cocaine farmers. They just barely make a living. Yeah, and if I'm guessing right, tobacco's kind of like that too. It's really hard to grow and harvest the stuff. Mm. Yup. No, uh, there was a... Uh, And, um, a channel called Ordinary Things, they actually, they actually, or I should, not they, but he actually did an episode on this, Nestle, and all the, uh, sleazeball practices that they do. You can pay 30% more. It's just like everything else in life. Uh, you want the good stuff, you're going to have to pay extra. I know freaking food's like that. Junk food's cheap as hell, but you buy like the good nutritious stuff, you're practically paying an arm and a leg. Most of the stuff is just going right over my heads. I'll just call it good on that. And then, um, then I do need to do something here. This is gonna take a little while. Um, I gotta go chase it down. You might hear some uh, extra background noise. 
Ah, uh, hope I can catch it. Okay, caught it. This is going to be kind of messy. Um, still working on it. I got it. Um, but like I said, um, totally and completely, I totally and completely forgot to talk about this earlier, but, um, um, but yeah, um, I checked out a new, uh, channel, uh, B1M. Um, it was on a recommendation from, uh, one of my regulars. I, I looked at it, but, um, but for those that don't know, I'm, or for those that have never seen any of my other cast videos or any of my other streams, I'm kind of a I'm kind of a city planning buff. Like one of my favorite games is um is a uh, Sim City. So played the living hell out of that, like Sim City, the Super Nintendo one, two thousand, uh, three thousand. Played Sim City four for a little while, um, but the later ones I didn't get into much. I played on uh, City Skylines recently, but I had a cry uncle on that one because it's one of those games where it actually takes longer to load. It takes longer to load up than it does to load up my entire computer. It also takes longer to shut down than it does to shut down my entire computer. I I kind of I kind of take issue with that, and then and then not to mention um it's kind of it's kind of laggy maybe because my computer can't handle uh handle all the graphics even when they're set at the lowest so I'm so yeah it, it's kind of a I'm thinking poorly optimized that's the, I think that's the phrase I'm looking for but anyway anyway um I'm kind of a so I'm kind of a sucker for a city planning stuff um checked out B1M um my verdict on that I I'm probably gonna have to give it a miss um not but I kind of need to explain myself. Um, what, the, as far as the content goes, it's actually some pretty good stuff. Um, the titles of some of the videos about the New York Tunnel, and, you know, why such and such bridge is going to collapse, etc. I mean, you know, I mean, like I said, the content's the content's actually pretty cool. It's just the uh, production. It's like I said on some of these D and D sessions earlier. They're overproduced. It's like too much, you know, too much fluff and flash. It is a lot of unnecessary stuff. Um, another channel, Michelle Carr. Um, I checked out, like, one of her... I checked out her paramedic video. I checked out, like, a few of her... A few of her other ones, but the same thing. Um, they're just... They're overproduced. They're way, you know, way too much... Way too much, uh, graphics for lack of a better word it's it's, it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to explain but it's just yeah it's like it's like they try too hard it oh, how could I put this but it, it, it's too hard on the eyes I think that's the phrase I'm looking for but like I said it, it's nothing unique uh, Michelle Carr has that same issue. Um, it's it's like a, it's like they don't edit these videos themselves. It's like they actually they actually uh, take the recorded footage, bring it into like a, a video editing firm or something. 
it, where it's like, uh, it's too professionally done. So, like I said, BM1 does that. I think Michelle Carr does it. Um, I think there's, a. Uh, there's another channel, another uh, climate channel. I can't remember the name. I think, uh, but they're, uh, he's, uh, he's right on the border. He's kind of right on the border of being overproduced. Um, Hot Mess is another one. They're, they're, they're a little heavy. They're a little heavy on the overproduction. And, you know, I'll still watch Hot Mess once in a while, but I don't, I can't, now there might have been an episode or two that I've actually been able to watch a full episode of, but again, there's a lot of times that I'll, I'll see all the uh, graphic animation going on and stuff like that, and it's like, ah, oh, my eyes, and then end up killing it. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking a moment. And, it, I'm, and now that I think about it, I think um, it's probably why um, Emperor Lemon's probably one of my favorite uh, one of my favorite channels, because he's he he. I mean they're, I mean they're pretty. They're pretty graphic. They're pretty detailed. Um, he puts a hell of a lot of work into them. But yeah, at the same time, it's not like he's going overboard. He just, he found this happy medium. So, but anyway, like I said, um, B1M, uh, I might, I might try watching one or two more of his videos. In fact, uh, now that I think about it, I might, uh, I might try to watch his very, very, very first video and see what that looks like. But if it's um, if it's easier on the eyes, then I might just uh, I might, I might stick to his early stuff. But again, when he starts um, when they start going overboard with the graphics and animation, then I'll probably end up killing it right then and there. Um, second thought, uh, one of my uh, one of my other favorite uh, YouTube channels until uh, until the content creator no longer became anonymous and started showing his face but he was um now that i think about it he was uh, a little on the he was a little bit on the overproduced side so so yeah But otherwise, um, that's going to do it for me, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call it good. Um, sorry for the slip up there um, towards the end. Uh, like I said, I totally forgotten to add that in. Uh, and, but yeah, otherwise, I think I've said everything I wanted to say, which wasn't really a whole lot. So this almost, this almost should have been one of those where... Uh, I should have just skip the cast video today and just make a double header one tomorrow. But yeah, I've gone that route before. Uh uh. So, but but otherwise, once again, thanks um thanks for tuning in and listening to me, everybody. I appreciate that, and I should be able to make another one of these tomorrow. So, but until then, thanks again for coming by, and I'll see you all next time.